Hello everybody, um, as you could probably hear from my voice, I have had an attack of the, the little virus people that live inside my nose, which is excellent. It's uh, one of the consequences of working in a hospital. Then again, I should probably stop rubbing my face on old people. Who knows? Before I begin this video, I wanted to say a few quick little things. Firstly, uh, Mega Sage 007, you are a colossal twat, and I implore you to please remove yourself from existence at your earliest convenience. Secondly, Kim Jong Il has snuffed it, and I am gutted that Hitch didn't last just a, an extra couple of days just to see that. I think he would have laughed. The, the, the um, you, you know the the one with my face where it's googly. That place, the other channel, that's that's the place. Oh, fuck me, I feel mank. Uh, over on that channel, I'm still working on a video. Chances are it won't be out before Christmas. Wanted to do something for Christmas like I did last year, which was late anyway. Probably won't be able to do that unless I do something quick here, so mm, sorry. So what I want to talk to you about now is I, a newest Ferndale 21, am no longer a naturalist. <gasps> so why am I saying that? Well, basically, it's quite simple. I have absolutely no idea what naturalism means. I haven't got the foggiest. What's wrong with you, you mental ginger tit? You're clearly suffering from your little illness thing. What? Clearly, naturalism applies. You've got the natural laws, the natural order. You've got nature. Look at nature. Nature's there. It exists. What's wrong with you, you bastard? Well, my metaphorical past self, I'm glad you asked me that question. When someone says the natural world, what do they actually mean by the natural world? I mean, I've always thought of nature as being everything that exists. Not in the way that a theist will then say, oh, so you believe nature is all that exists. No, I believe that everything exists is called nature. That's just no. So in effect, whenever I'm talking about the natural world, what I'm actually saying is just everything. If it exists, it exists. And yes, that's a massive circle of logical fail. Of course, if something exists, exists. That doesn't help us get anywhere. But well, that's kind of my point. I mean, I don't subscribe to just determining that this set of things is all there is. When, if you can demonstrate that there's something outside this set of things and then say, oh, there's two sets of things which together make up uh, nature and, and non-nature in one big, oh, we need a word uh, meaning everything. Um, no, fuck it. If, it. if it could be demonstrated as real or logically argued for, then I'm going to put it in my little box of things that exist called nature. That's just the way I think of it. Basically, nature doesn't really mean much in that sense. It just means all there is. And so I don't call myself a naturalist because it doesn't mean anything. It just means I believe in things that exist. I believe things exist. I believe that existence exists. Oh, so you believe in, in the supernatural then, in ghosts and ghoulies and goblins and fairies in the garden and uh, colds that can transfer themselves to your, your past self making him seem like exactly the same person in some just convoluted camera trickery? Well, no, no, not really. Again, mainly because when you say supernatural, I haven't got the foggiest idea what you're talking about. The same with naturalism. I mean, it's, it's meaningless because if it exists, fine. That, that's where I'm coming from. You're saying, ah, there's something that exists outside everything that exists, and pff, no, cannot comprehend, does not compute in my ginger cranium, that just doesn't mean anything to me. What, can you explain what the supernatural is? And this is exactly where we hit the big philosophical wall, because the supernatural is almost constantly defined as beyond, or above, or extra, or outside of, the natural. It entirely depends on how you define the natural. And how do you define the natural that makes any sense? Is it everything that can be described by natural laws? In which case, how do we know what can be described by the natural laws with the laws we haven't discovered yet? It's, it's meaningless. So I just prefer to think of things without just the unnecessary 
Labels, I mean, we hear it all the time in debates. William Lane Craig will constantly go, your naturalistic point of view can't describe sort of what happened pre-Big Bang. I mean, if the natural laws started at the Big Bang, then what happened to, to cause that event must therefore be supernatural. And as we all know, that's where God lives. And no, it's, it's just distracting and meaningless. If you can demonstrate something to be there, to be real, to exist, then let's, let's work on how we can demonstrate that. Let's... Let's not just pretend there's this other psychic dimension where just magic happens. Write it off as being, oh, it's supernatural. You can't use nature to prove it. So therefore, you know, you know, how the hell can you demonstrate something without agreeing on a, on a way that it can be demonstrated? This is what every design argument absolutely rests upon. This concept of, of a supernatural where the laws of nature don't apply because it's responsible for the laws of nature in the first place. But that makes no sense. How do you then apply laws of, of logic and reasoning? How do you know that that applies to this magical sphere of reality? If you're, if you're saying at this point nature started, before that we can't say anything, I'm fine with that. That's great. But you can't then say, oh, but we can still apply our laws of logic to that and thus deduce reasonably using the, the natural world's logic that there's this designer. <coughs> no. You can, and the other one is the supernatural, and causality is another favourite. They absolutely must insist upon causality having effect in every possible realm that's not the natural one as well. And uh, how are we doing for time? Right. New video for causality, because fuck me, that's going to be a complicated thing, and it really winds me up as well. Uh, see you later.